using the Walmart Clipper. We're going to show you the easiest way to use the Walmart Clipper during the fade. The number one fade he's getting with a comb over. And always remember. The first thing you need to know is how to move the Walmart Clipper. So, remember at all times, you're only going to use half of the blade. And the other half that you're not using will always be up off the blade on an angle. So on the right side of the head, you're going to use the left side of the blade. And the right side of the blade is going to be always off the head on an angle. So you're going to come up half of the blade, always on an angle, finish on an angle. So your first elevation, you will finish like this on an angle on the right side of the head. On the left side of the head, you're going to use the right side of the blade. And the left side of the blade will always be off the head. So you're going to come up like that on an angle now far as the levels of the blade being on the head this is considered flat so when you come flat it's going to cut close as you can get it always using half the blade flat mid level is when you raise the blade up midway and you're still only using half the blade but you're coming off the head and that's going to cut leave a little bit more hair on the head and when you raise the blade up high you're going to use half of the blade. When I say high, that means it's going to leave even more hair on the head. So flat is the closest. Mid is leaving a little hair. And high leaving the most amount of hair at whatever level you're cutting. So that's flat, mid, high. And you always use only half of the blade cutting on an angle. On the left side of the head, you use the right side of the blade. And the left side of the blade is off. And on the right side of the head, use the left side of the blade, and the right side of the blade is off the head. Always start with the blade at this longest point wide open, that's the number one. And even though you're using the one half of the blade, Make sure the other half that you're not using is up on the an angle and you swing it always on the an angle. So you come in, swing up on the an angle, and as you can see, your blend is already there because the clipper on the an angle did it for you. That's the number one. You don't have to do what all the barbers do, all the flicking of the wrist, because when you come up on an angle, the blade does the fade for you. Now, on this side, we switch to the other side of the blade. On an angle, come up, angle. Tilt right here. And if you notice, 
the clipper does the blend for you. If you come up, half of the blade, come up on an angle, and look, the fade starts on you, for you. You always want to make sure your two lines meet in the back. And right here in the center, you can use the whole blade and flick up. But once you go to this side, you go back to half of the blade. Then you go on this side, go back to half of the blade. You see that blend? All I'm doing is using half of the blade. And when I come up half of the blade on a, on an angle, swing on an angle, look at that. I didn't do nothing special. So you make sure everything here is clean and it's a number one. Now make sure your both of your sides are even. Look in the mirror, you check both sides, make sure they're even. Half of the blade, swing on the angle. Look at that. Nothing special. Anybody can do this. Now, that's crazy. Hmm. all right, so now you just take your number one guard, put it on, keeping it wide open, you're going to do your next elevation. Look at that blend, already there. On the angle, half of the blade come up on the angle. Going from front to back. What you see right there is a little dark demarcation. We're going to show you how you get that out. Now you're going to go to the other side. Front to back. On the angle. Just a slight demarcation there. On an angle. The angle is what does the fade. Now you take the blade close it to get that demarcation out on an angle go from back to front and just focus on that demarcation only the half of the blade go in halfway and swing up on an angle. Just on an angle. And just only this half of the blade. Remember, I'm on the right side of the head. I'm using the left half of the blade at an angle and the front part this part that I'm not using is up on an angle and that's how you make the clipper do the fade for you so you go forward so you come back forward come back all right other side
on an angle. Now we're on the left side of the head. We use the right side of the blade on the angle. Come forward. Forward on an angle back. Keep the blade up the side that you're not using up on an angle. And your fade, the clipper will do the fade for you. Okay, now you're going to get your number two blade. And you're going to blend right into the top on an angle. Come up on an angle. See that? Only half of the blade will come up on an angle. And it does the blend for you. Come up on an angle and it does the blend for you. Up on an angle. Up on an angle. Make sure you keep that angle up. Come in, up, and come straight off the head in the air. On an angle. Don't follow the contour of the head. Come up and come straight off the head. Up, off the head, off the head, off the head in the air straight up on angle straight up don't push onto the head and follow the head swing on angle come straight up up just up in the air straight keep your hands straight keep this straight up and that blends for you Everything hanging over the left over you get with the scissors. So now you're going to close the number two. Start from the back on an angle. Blend that dark one out. Keep the blade up at an angle and just flick straight up on the angle. Other side, other half of the blade. That dark line right there on an angle. Just that dark area. Half of the blade, just swing that at that dark area out. Now you're gonna have like a slight demarcation there. You go back to the number one. Put the number one on all the way long and just on an angle, lightly flick that little dark area out. On an angle. Stay right there low, don't go too high. Just stay right in that area. Going on an angle and flick straight up right there. Don't go to the contour of the head. Just come here and flick in the air straight up.
on an angle because the angle is what will do to get the blend for you look how I have the clipper perpendicular to the head and just flick up all right back to this side the same thing on an angle and just flick up get that little dark spot out perpendicular to the head keep that angle always on the an angle and at the very end take the number one arm guard off have this wide open as long as point level down open and if you see any little glitch at the bottom you do the exact same thing you come in perpendicular on an angle and you just lightly flick out any little dark spot. On an angle. Make sure the blade always is at an angle. Perpendicular up high and just flick out any little dark spot there. Stay low. Perpendicular to the head, flick out on the angle. All right. When you get into the scissoring, Really simple. You want to wet the hair down. A lot of people get into holding the hair and cutting at angles. I'm going to show you a simple way to use scissors with the comb. You just want a light trim. You want a light trim? Yes, please. Okay. So you, this this is the comb overs. So this is the longest side, this is the shorter side. You just take this longer side, lift up. You could do it like this. Or you could do it like this. You, Take the comb, scissors. That's your first guide. Once you get that guide, the second guide is over here where you cut with the number two and blended it. Now you just take and lift the hair up and meet the two. Lift up. See that? That's your guide, and you cut that excess. That's your guide, trim the excess. That's your guide, trim the excess. Trim the excess. Keep going back. Until you get all the way to the crown. Now you comb it, you got everything, and then you're gonna take and come on this side. That's a blended guide. This is the guide at the top. And you go from this, you go from right there, that short hair, and you just blend up on an angle. That's pretty much it.
Usually if you take spinach here, then the tips. You just lift the hair up, hit the tips like this, on an angle, coming up on your blend. So you come here, come all the way across your whole guy. That softens the tips and blend everything together. And then right here on the side, lift up. To take all the dark spots out of the hair when you hit it with the thinnest hair. The blend end up looking a lot better. Come over here and do the same thing. Now, we're lining up You want to keep the hairline as natural as possible So the first thing you want to do is you want your sideburns halfway there? Yes, please. So you come about here, get your sideburn in. And you kind of see the line, just let the clipper make the line for you. So you lay the clipper flat here, and you come up here and just come down on the angle, and then take the clipper and come up on the angle. And just tap the front here real natural. Everything else stays natural. And you come around the ear the same way on a curve motion. Use the blade straight. That's pretty much it. And on the back. With the blade, the straight edge make the line. Use the edge of the blade, it's curved in a circle of motion. We're going to go to the other side. Hey, don't worry, I know how to cut the video down. You know? <laughs> so. Straight. Let the flat edge do the work for you. Make the line, and then come up and curve. Curve in, down, and then curve up this way. Soft touch, come on, that's it. Everything else stays natural. Let the straight edge make your line. Now for the neck, the make, 
you blend on the angle, the clipper will do the work for you. Close the blade all the way. Come to the bottom on an angle. On an angle. On an angle. On an angle. Go a quarter of a way. On an angle. Go a quarter of a way. On an angle. Making the blade open it up on a quarter more. On an angle. Quarter more on an angle. On an angle on this side, on an angle on that side until you get the blade almost to a number one, and then you blend right into your number one on an angle. And then one on an angle. So if you use the blade on the angle, you can make this Walmart clipper work just like the barbers work. But you don't have to do all them techniques barbers do. Barber been taught how to flick, how to reuse their wrist, how to blend. But you don't need to do that because you're going to make the clipper on the angle do all the work for you. And you don't have to worry about all that stuff these barbers do. Let the barbers do what they do. And you take this Walmart clipper and you do what you do. All right. Same in this corner of sideburns. You can blend them out a little bit by doing the exact same thing you did. In the nape area. Finish up on the neck area with the varnish on the angle at the very bottom. Alright, that's our finished product. Walmart clipper using the angle. We're gonna conclude with some music while putting his blues back in the barn. <laughs>